So I'm kind of tired, but I told you guys I would bring um, a video about demonic symbolism and celebrities, right? Some parts of the music industry are demonic, right? Um, and some of them are flashy about it. Some of them, you know, don't talk about it, but, but, you know what I'm saying? You already know, you know what I'm saying? Then we got this over here. Look at all these celebrities and known people. And you know, Jay-Z's wife over here, flexing for the Illuminati, I'm saying. YGK throwing up the devil sign, the devil horns. I mean, YGK, MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. I think this is Pop Smoke. So Saturn in occultism, in magic and witchcraft, Saturn sometimes is used on uh, for um, cursing and doing stuff of that nature. And then the star right there. And right here, this is old school DMX. You see the M above his head, how he creates like a devil horns. And you see how the flesh of his body is dripping like in blood. Um, this is demonic symbolism in the rap industry. And you see the symbolism, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. It sounds like a demonic ritual, but also has just hidden in plain sight, plain words. Um, that he could be speaking about his life or, you know, even his kin. But at the same time, flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Did he do a blood ritual for his flesh? You know what I'm saying? There's certain things like this that have demonic symbolism, occultist symbolism in the industry. And they hide it in plain sight. Look at the M above his head. Just two horns like devil. He's bleeding blood over his whole body in all red. Look at, look at his eyes. Like you, you can see like he's not even like... Like, his eyes just look, like, empty. Do you guys see that? So this is demonic symbolism at its finest in celebrities and Illuminati and um, in celebs, actors, in the all the industry. And they bring this music to us with demonic frequencies, demonic words, advertising, lust, um, substances, um, low vibrational activities, um, I mean, I was just listening to rap right now, but, uh, you know what I mean? But I used to not listen to rap for a while when I was changing my life. But this helps. This, I mean, this is what molds society, molds our kids, molds, molds things into a negative nature of being of a demonic nature of embracing the low vibrational activities the low the sinful activities the activities that the media wants to portray upon the world so some some people will not listen to this type of music around their kids some people will well you know I me mean, not listen to music at all and listen to christian music which i salute you because i did that for a while but um but i like rap you know what i mean it's what i grew up on so it's really ingrained in me but uh but like i said there's a lot of demonic symbolism but in the words of the songs there's demonic symbolism i I can't remember i think it's one of bone thugs and harmony songs um if you play it backwards it's like a demonic ritual and you can hear it i, I can be mistaken you would have to look look it up but um i think it's bone thugs and harmony you play one of their songs backwards and uh it's a demonic ritual and it, it sounds like it's talking in english but it, it's it's playing backwards, and um, and I uh, I had someone show me, uh, old old mentor when I was on parole, was where I was taking classes right, I got like fifty certificates of all different things, anger management, parenting classes, you know what I mean, all types of stuff, um, coping skills, everything. I took all the I took all the classes in the state of Oregon, but um, but um. He was showing us these things of demonic symbolism. He was an ex-gang member um, uh, who would, would wear the color blue back in the day. And he changed his life and came to God and, and was showing us demonic symbolism. And this is how I came onto this uh, from back in the day I learned this. Um, so I knew this for years and years, probably like probably like some 10-something years I knew this and now I'm speaking on it. 
But like I said, demonic symbolism, embracing the sinful nature of the flesh, the Adam nature within our flesh, we have to rebuke that. It's okay. I feel like it's okay to listen to rap as long as you don't let it encourage you to be out acting a fool, be out drinking, be out doing, you know, this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? But I also encourage you to listen to Christian music, whether it's Christian rap, uh, alternative rock, whatever it is, but put Christian gospel music in your life to elevate your your atmosphere, elevate your mood, and just give praise. Because you know what Christian music is? You know what music for God is? That is music to praise the Lord. You're praising Him. Just like you're in church, that's a praise. You're giving Him time and energy and praising Him. And you can enjoy that praise, you know what I'm saying? Because it's music. Um, so yeah, so beware of what you watch and what you listen to. Um, and embrace the Lord and rebuke that sin. Because this is what media brings into our lives.